Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. A, B, C and D lie on a circle with center O. So we can see that there are four points A, B, C and D which are on the circle and the center of the circle is at O. AC is a diameter of the circle. AC is passing through the center of the circle and hence it is the diameter. AD, BE and CF are parallel lines. So we can see that they are parallel to each other. Angle ABE is given as 48 degrees and angle ACF is given as 126 degrees. Find angle DAE. So they are asking us to find out this angle DAE, the small angle. So to find this out, we are going to use the properties of the parallel lines. We can see that AD is parallel to CF. So let me draw it by taking it this way. And AC is acting as a transversal line between the two parallel lines. That is, it is going to cut the line AD at point A and line CF at point C. Now using the property of the parallel lines, Angle A and angle C are the co-interior angles. So if they are the co-interior angles, they add up to 180 degrees. So angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. And angle A is the one we need to find out. And angle C is 126 degrees is equal to 180. So angle A is equal to 180 minus 126 so that gives us an angle of 54 degrees so we got angle DAC or angle DAES 54 degrees using the property of the parallel lines that is co-interior angles so we can write it over here as angle DAE is 54 degrees now let us look at the next part of the question find angle EBC so it is over here that is E B and C so it is this angle which we need to find out now to find out this angle we are going to use a circle theorem which states that angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees you can see that I have drawn a circle over here and AB is a line passing through the center so AB becomes the diameter and according to the theorem angle made by the diameter in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. So the diameter AB divides the circle into two halves and each half is called as a semicircle. So if the diameter makes an angle that is in a semicircle at this point or it can make on the other side this way. So every time the diameter makes an angle in the semicircle, it's going to be 90 degrees. So using this theorem, let us see how we can solve our given example. We can see that line AC is a diameter. So let us draw it over here. And the two points of the diameter make an angle at point B. That means the total angle B is going to be 90 degrees. So angle ABC is 90 degrees. So the total angle ABC can be written as angle ABE. So it has been divided as angle ABE plus angle EBC. And angle ABC we got it as 90 degrees using the circle theorem and angle ABE they have given us 48 degrees plus angle EBC so we can get the angle EBC by subtracting the 48 from 90 degrees so we get it as 42 degrees so we write here angle EBC is 42 degrees by using the circle theorem. Now let us look at the last part of this question. Find 
the angle BAE. So here BAE. It's this angle. So this is the one we need to find out. Now in part A of this question we had got the angle A as 54 degrees and we can see that the lines AD is parallel to line BE and AE is acting as a transversal line. So by using the property of the parallel lines we can say that if angle A is 54 degrees angle E is going to be 54 degrees because they are the alternating angles of the parallel lines AD and BE. Now once we got angle B angle E we can find out the angle A by using the angle sum property of a triangle where all the angles will add up to 180 degrees. So now we can write here angle A plus angle B plus angle E is equal to 180 degrees. So angle A we need to find out angle B is given as 48 angle E we got it as 54 is equal to 180 degrees so angle A or angle B A E we can now write it as 180 degree minus 48 minus 54 so that is going to give us an angle of 78 degrees so the angle B A E is 78 degrees so we got the angle DAE and angle BAE using the properties of the parallel lines and angle EBC we got it by using the circle theorem I hope you have understood all the steps and liked my video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching